Malik Neighbors, the next in the Tigers line of wide receiver prospects, is a good bet to deliver on his upside. Neighbors is a legit speed threat downfield who can offset and stack defensive backs with ease. He has unnatural run after the catch ability for his size, and he's an adept contortionist to the football. He reached 1,000 yards receiving last season and played his best ball in his final few games. Malik Neighbors is an athletic powder keg and a stack specialist as a route runner who can effortlessly flow to passes with his hands. After the catch, he has size-defying contact balance and run after the catch ability. LSU had high expectations for Smith last season until we suffered a knee injury in the season opener while celebrating a play. If Smith returns to full health in 2023, he will regain his first round trajectory. At 6 foot 5 and 300 pounds, Smith has the size and length to forklift defenders in close quarters. He also has the high energy athleticism and hot motor to wrench through contact and convert when the quarterback enters his wheelhouse. Playing in a rotation with Wingo and Shand, Smith should be freed up to do what he does best disrupt. As long as he stays healthy, Mason Smith is due to have a monstrous 2023 season. Makai Wingo had a breakout campaign in 2022 as a transfer from Missouri, starting in 13 games in place of the injured Mason Smith. Mingo responded by rarely coming off the field as the sophomore's 821 snaps were 30 plus more than any other interior defensive lineman in college. Per Pro Football Focus, his 84.3 run defense grade was third best among SEC interior defensive linemen while his four sacks were tied for the most. Wingo became an all SEC player and is now a huge part of one of college football's best defensive fronts that includes major athletes in Harold Perkins, Mason Smith, and Savion Jones. Makai Wingo has all the tools and upside of a day two selection following a successful 2023 season. Omar Spates won't be a breakout in 2023 like a Stutzman in 2022, but this is the year that everyone knows how good of a player he is. With the Beavers, Spates accumulated 304 total tackles, 25 tackles for loss, 5 sacks, 3 picks, and 4 deflections. Transferring to LSU from Oregon State, the 6'1", 237-pound linebacker already brings 4 years of starting experience. This is a sturdy linebacker with good closing speed and reaction quickness. And while he doesn't have much production and coverage, Spates does have the vision and route recognition ability to process and respond to plays in zone. On top of his instincts and football IQ, Spates is an explosive, agile competitor with physicality and zone awareness. Daniel's improvement as a passer was right up there with Bo Nix in 2022. Across 505 dropbacks and 390 total pass attempts, Daniels recorded just three turnover-worthy plays per PFF. He showed really good feel for pressure and kept his eyes downfield more correctly and more consistently than you might expect for a player who is a very viable weapon as a rusher. In 2022, he gained over 1,000 yards on the ground with 11 rushing touchdowns. This next season will be all about improving his efficiency and accuracy deeper down the field. He posted a 56.7 adjusted completion percentage on throws of 10 plus yards on his true dropbacks in 2022. Not a great number, but definitely could improve. He also needs to just be a better playmaker. Daniels put up just 12 big time throws over the 2022 season with his 2.9% big time throw rate ranking 119th among 155 qualifying signal callers. 